Afternoon friends, how you doing? Picking piping here. So today's video is coming out a little late for uh, for what my purpose was. I wanna tell you about my gaw for the Pipe Week Bingo. I gave it a few extra days because of the lack of entries, which I'll explain in a minute. And then I just got really bogged down this week with work. And then the fourth, which is my son's birthday, he turned 13, my middle son. And then we had a party for him yesterday, like with his friends. And so it was crazy yesterday cleaning and getting ready and having a whole bunch of like preteen teenagers over. So anyway, it's Sunday now. I'm a week later, so doing this video. Kane, what are you choking on? But I'm out here enjoying this beautiful weather. It's low 80s right now. My son's out swinging, jumping the trampoline. I am smoking some, well, it's Sunday, so smoking some St. Bruno Ready Rubbed in my Fire Blues Pipe of the Year 2019 for Shape 55. I gave it a good clean last week. Finally, I had to ream it out, cleaned it with some Everclear. It needed it. I smoke it the most often of all my pipes, so it's definitely, it needed it. It's been, it had been a while since I did that. Great smoker though. There's something else I wanted to say. Well, I'll do the, the pipe week stuff first. So pipe week. Let's start on Father's Day, ended, what, a week ago, Saturday, with the Pipe Week Awards. Congrats again to all the winners. Thanks again to Raphael and Lady Fire for their tireless effort of organizing those and doing the award show. Might even have been two weeks ago. Anyway, um, so I had my Pipe Week bingo. If you're not familiar with it, basically I had created a bingo board that was online that you could download and follow along with videos that were posted during Pipe Week. And if they're smoking a specific blend that was mentioned on the board, corresponding to one of the spots, you marked it off and wrote down what video you saw it on. I think this is my third year doing Pipe Week Bingo. I've done different tobaccos, different pipes, different... I don't remember all three. But anyway, I've, I've done different things with the Pipe Week board each year. Unfortunately this year, I got very little response. In fact, I only got one complete bingo entry board that was sent to me, entered for the GA. I had a few other people say that they participated. They emailed me and said we participated. They tried to fill the bingo board, but were unable to get any five matching in a row. They got some squares filled in, but only had like four in a row or whatever. Kane, leave him alone. Kane, come here. So, I guess I made it too tough this year. Oh well, sorry. Or there just weren't as many videos put out during Pipe Week this year as there has been in the past. I'm not sure. Either way, 
I'm happy to announce that my GAW prize is going to the one person that sent in a complete bingo board. Congrats to Carolina Rose for winning the GAW. I did already email her because it's been like a week and just say to, to let her know so she knows. She won four tins of tobacco that I had, I had posted a video a few weeks ago about it. Um, seeing what they were going to be, and then a Dr. Graybo pipe, unsmoked, still in the package. Caroline Rose is a predominantly Whee! aromatic smoker. So I'm also going to send her some samples of the aromatics that I like that I have. I don't have a lot, but I have a few. that I really like because I'm pretty sure she's still pretty new to pipe smoking so congrats to Caroline Rose thank you again for participating and everyone that did try I hope you enjoyed it stay tuned later this month and every month following I'll probably probably every month I am going to continue on the pipes puzzles website where I had the board, I'm gonna go back to creating pipe puzzles every month, like I used to. TBD. I will uh, let you know, I'll do another video when that next puzzle gets posted for you to enjoy. So thanks on that. I know I'm kind of slow and rambling today. I'm tired, man, the last couple of days have been exhausting for my son's birthday to work and then the party yesterday. Um, but the exciting news for me is that, well, work's gonna be crazy again this week, but two of my kids are going to camp tomorrow for the better part of the week. My middle son who goes to camp a week from tomorrow because of his age is a different level. He's going tomorrow to his grandparents' house because they have a, a big farm and he's gonna spend like five days out on the farm with them. Yeah. My son Christian back there, right there, with special needs. He goes to school year, mostly year round they take a two-week break after the regular school season ends, and then he starts back again tomorrow. So he starts back in school tomorrow for his summer session. And then my fifth, my fifth child, the oldest, he sleeps till like noon or one end every day anyway, so barely notice he's around. So it's going to be a nice and quiet week. I'm looking forward to that because the last few weeks have been crazy since they've been out of school. Anyway, oh, one more thing. This is what I wanted to show you. I've made a little bit of progress on my pipe that I'm making. I showed you pictures in a previous video of the block that I got. I've been using a Dremel tool, which really is not the best tool for it as I'm learning. And I used a hacksaw to cut this piece out right here. Not a hacksaw, like a regular hand saw. I've been using some of the other attachments to the Dremel tool to shape the sides and sand it, but I finally bought a wood cutting tool. So I'm gonna cut the rest of the big pieces off and then shape it with like the sanding wheels and sanding discs that came with the Dremel. And when I get the shape really well, I do have some sandpaper that I purchased to finish up the job, but it's coming along. I'm uh, not too far into it, but we'll see. That's the first time I've tried it. Might be a work pipe. 
As long as it looks halfway decent and smokes good, that's all that matters, really. So anyway, with that, it's 10 minute mark. I'm kind of rambling. I will let you go. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Hope your 4th of July was good. The weekend's been good for you. Stay healthy, safe. God bless all of you. Keep praying for you. Keep praying for me. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.